Alright, welcome back. Here is our October 2015 Nerd Block unboxing. And um, this month there's supposed to be, I think, a couple of Funkos and uh, Gremlins t shirt So, yeah, hopefully it'll be something good. Oh, yeah, so just a quick intro for those who haven't been following us for a while. This Nerd Block is a subscription service. Once a month, you spend 30 bucks US and they give you an assortment of collectible stuff that identifies as nerdy, geeky. Yeah. And we tend to like it. So let's just get right into it, I guess. Alright, very good. Oh, and there's a link on how to get your own if you want, and there's one affiliate link. So if you use that to get it, we actually get a small kickback. Couple bucks. Yeah. That looks like the Gremlin shirt. Helter's pets. And I, I guess we can't do this. Do not feed after midnight. What what they said in the in their promotions was that there's a, a glow in the dark feature to this. I wonder if we can trigger it. Probably not. Oh, right. yep, I can see which part's supposed to be though. It's right, so this the, part in the has, background. Just out of curiosity, I wonder how. It's I can see it a, a tiny bit on screen, but oh, not quite. Cause it, well, oh, I, it's the evil gremlin. In is the glow in the dark. Can you see it on the? No, but I can see that it's. Oh, I can. Yeah, kind of. If you look at it at a really like, there we go. Yeah, there you just go. got it for a second. Anyways, yeah, you get the idea. The evil gremlin is a glow, glow in the dark feature. I almost said grow in the dark. Oh, there you can see his mouth. All right. Yeah, so. it's it's a grow in the water, glow in the dark feature. All right. So there's a. Oh, actually, it's not a couple of funkos. What it is is it's two alien figures. That's the alien, or the predator, I guess. Yeah, alien. Yeah. And uh, Ripley. That's kind of cool. What version? It's, oh, it just doesn't tell you. Blind, these are the blind box figures. This is just the specific set of the two figures. We love oh. Titans. And it's a nerd block exclusive. Should we pop that open? Let's take a look. Have you ever seen Aliens? So it's a Titan, it's not actually a Funko. Yeah, it's not. Have you ever seen Aliens? Uh, I don't think I have, actually. It's, it's, the first one is sort of a classic kind of... horror kind of freak out thing. And the second one, which James Cameron directed, the first one was Ridley Scott, the second one, which James Cameron directed, was sort of like a haunted house kind of... Like an alien, thing. yeah. Yeah, oh, that's kind of cool. Head moves. Arms move. Oh, very cool. And it's got accessories. What are the accessories? Uh, oh, this is, okay, this is cool. This is the... Chest burster. Or oh, the extra tongue thing, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that focus properly? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, very cool. All right. I see a Firefly item. Uh, is it, oh no, this card saying next month we get a Firefly item. Ooh, I heard there's a Sherlock item next I month want, too. I want the Firefly item. Zombie Hunter official issue dog tags. Nice. Alright. Adult collectible, not for children under 14 years. Alright. Zero zombie emergency response operations. And shoot them in the head. Zombie Hunter, and they'll stay dead. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool, yeah. All right, I like that. Moe's Tavern, is that coasters? It is one coaster, but it's a high quality one. Not oh, like it's the... like a cork coaster. Yeah, so it's not like a cheap one last month with uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, put your, <laughs> put your mug on my mug. So that's metal and cork. And it's got cork. Yeah, that's yeah, a pretty good coaster. Not bad. That's not bad. Usable, definitely will use it. Bob's Burgers and Mad Libs. Oh. We do not watch Bob's Burgers, but we might have to after all the items that we've been getting. Oh, okay, so Mad Libs, the thing where you have one person collects all the words, they give you the category yeah. of what type of oh, word you, it is. In case and, you don't know what Mad Libs is. Alright, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, and it even tells you, for those of you who are a little bit more shy. So it's officially licensed Bob's Burgers Mad Libs, so right, that's also, cool. that's interesting. Uh -oh. That's four ninety nine. Phone call. It's actually a Value. Okay, right. we'll move on. 
Gem and the Holograms. Okay, you, you were way too young for that, but I think they're doing a reboot now, too. So that was big, a big cartoon in the 80s. Truly outrageous. That's cute. So, I don't know. <laughs> like Hatsune Miku Vocaloids? What's the hologram? <laughs> they were a band. And they would, it was, they were just a musical band. It was a cartoon. So they weren't actually holograms? I honestly... Because they do have thing. hologram vocaloids now, right? It was not, I gotta be honest, that was not my thing. Alright, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, less items, but like more substantial items. Alright, so there was the two-pack. Zombie dog tanks. Oh, so that's what it's supposed to look like when we, if we were able to oh, get it properly I'll done. see if I can get a good zoom on that. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright. And... Mad Lips, Gem and the Hologram, Mo Coaster. Yeah. Cool. So they're tricks and treats. And this is a preview for next month. Or no, this is a preview for their other package, which is Firefly one. And this is talking about... Ooh, sci-fi block. Yeah. First block includes Star Wars Funko Celebrity. Oh, interesting. Okay. And what we're looking for, Firefly. We love Firefly. And a Sherlock. Sherlock we love, too. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's the uh, end of the official unboxing, and we'll get to a recommendation like we often do. Moving into shaky cam. All right, so if, for those of you who have been watching us for a while, you'll actually recognize this. It's a uh, return of the Mini Museum, and there's a reason why we're recommending it again. Because Hans Fax, the guy who did the first Mini Museum, is doing another Kickstarter for a second Mini Museum. And there's still two weeks left. So if this is the kind of thing that interests you, take advantage of it. The first mini, mini museum, blah, 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 blah. the first mini museum sold out really quickly, and yeah, once they were out, they, they were out. Because for those of you who don't know what this is, these are fragments of interesting items encased in acrylic. So if you can see, I don't know how clear clear it is. If you take a look. Let's see some of the interesting stuff. It's pretty clear at this resolution. It depends on what resolution you're watching. So there's a hunk of the London Bridge. Let's see how close I can get. Oh. There's insect and amber over here. Just a collection of really interesting... The, to, to me, some of the most interesting stuff, there's a piece of the command module foil from the Apollo 11. So, interesting items. He's encased in acrylic. It's... Really? And also there's a little bit of his beard hair. Yeah. It's really cool because it, it's not only just a, a conversation piece, but it's just really interesting stuff. And what really makes it, this time around in their Kickstarter, they're actually including the book instead of having it as an add-on, where he discusses each of the items that's in the mini-museum. So the tri Triceratops horn... Mass extinction event, a bit of Egyptian mummy wrap. So there's a reason why it's limited, because at some point when you start breaking down artifacts into smaller bits. Oh gosh, the zoom. Wait, give me a second. There it is. Alright. So yeah, if you like that, there's your chance. There's still a few available. And check them out on Kickstarter. We'll probably include a link in the description. See you guys next time. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching. Komoda.